This is the bike I've been lucky enough to ride for a while now here on GCN, Canyon's latest air road. And I'm giving it back. It's a bike of all out unbridled speed, fast as a racehorse, and designed to absolutely rail it. If I'd have had the choice, this is the bike I'd have gone for back when I was racing. It is the dream. But now, when I do actually have a choice, I've decided to go for something else entirely. I'm swapping out my Aero Rocket for Canyon's latest Endurace. Why? Let me explain. This is the bike I've decided to ride for the foreseeable future here on GCN. Canyon's latest model in their endurance lineup, the Endurace CFR. First introduced in 2014, the Endurace is a bike that's designed to maximize comfort yet still lends itself to be ridden fast. Something that you're going to benefit from from those longer days in the saddle, your attributes which aren't going to go amiss, whatever your riding style. The newest model is no different either. Designed around a more relaxed geometry with compliance boosting features such as Canyon's signature VCLS seat post with a lower clamping point to increase flex and a slightly kinked seat tube too to further improve vibration dampening. Headline features on this model include space for 35mm tyres, integrated storage on the top tube and tech coming across from Canyon's aero and ultimate models in the form of their integrated aero cockpit with cables hidden away and a claimed saving of 7 watts on the previous model. This then is the bike I'm swapping out. It's Canyon's Aeroad, a race-winning machine that's propelled Matthew van der Poel to World Championship glory as well as countless other pro victories. Why then would I choose not to ride what is arguably one of the fastest bikes in the world? The truth is I no longer have the time to train at the intensity and volume of a pro cyclist. And I did suffer a back injury at the start of the year, which may or may not have had something to do with wild camping in a Welsh boffy in the middle of sub-zero temperatures. What do you feel about our place for the night stay? <laughs> How are you feeling about the night? Uh, I'm going to rate it a uh, one star on TripAdvisor. One star? Essentially, I can no longer maintain that old racing position that I once had, and trying to maintain it has begun to cause me a few issues. The air road is devastatingly fast. It's actually quite depressing to know that I was up against previous iterations of it back when I was racing. But these days, I've become to accept I'm actually looking for comfort when I'm going out on the bike. When I'm home in Ireland, for example, I often reach for my gravel bike and I'm enjoying just that kind of casual cruise. I'm no longer looking for the out and out aggressive racer. So when I dropped Canyon Line and told them I was beginning to look for a bike which suited my own riding style a bit better, something that would still allow me to push hard, ride fast, but also be comfortable, they told me to hang on because if I did, I'd be able to swap my air road for their latest Endurace model. I do feel incredibly lucky to be able to do this, and I hope explaining my reasoning behind this swap in this video will allow you at home to make a better decision about what bike may suit you and your riding style best. You see, the Endurace is designed around comfort for those longer rides, but you don't necessarily need to ride long to be able to experience this. One of my favorite aspects of riding a bike is that feeling, maybe at the end of a longer ride, when you begin to loosen up, you relax, everything starts to flow a bit better. And I think a bike designed around comfort, yet is still designed to be ridden fast, is the perfect cheat code to be able to do this. And if you are gonna go out on a big, epic ride, you've got the perfect machine to do it on.
One of the ways this is achieved on the Endure race is a more relaxed geometry compared to a more race orientated bike. So compared to the Air Road, this bike has a longer wheelbase and a more relaxed head tube and seat tube angle, plus a higher stack and a shorter reach. Longer wheelbase is important as it stretches the whole bike out, providing a more comfortable and stable frame, naturally adding that flex and compliance as do those slacker seat and head tube angles, absorbing road buzz more than a more aggressive geometry. Pair that with the increased stack and reduced reach on this bike, which raises my position at the front and shifts my body a little more upright. So I'm gonna reduce pressure on my lower back, my shoulders and my core, which is definitely gonna be a benefit to the old back injury that I mentioned earlier and also my all-round comfort on the bike over the course of a ride. An aggressive position is great if your aim is getting low on the front and improving your aerodynamics. But if, like me, you're beginning to find it hard to maintain that aggressive position over time, what you're probably going to find is that you fatigue quicker and end up riding on the tops a lot more anyway, reducing any aerodynamic advantage. If you do opt for a bike with a more relaxed geometry, what you're going to find is it will be more comfortable over the course of a ride. And actually, you'll find it easier to tuck in out of the wind, tuck your head down, and be more aerodynamic as a result. And this is still a bike that's been designed to be ridden fast. Canyon have worked with aerodynamics experts Swiss side on their Air Road and Speedmax bikes, and the same can be said for the latest Endure Race. They say that the Endure Race, this latest model, has a seven watt saving at 45 kilometers an hour over the previous model, and that is thanks to a slender down tube, a narrow head tube, and removed external cabling. That is also thanks to the addition of Canyon's Aero Cockpits, tech which was first used and developed on the Aero, allowing for those integrated cables and that improvement in aerodynamics. Plus, it actually allows for easier traveling too. You can un undo the bars, fold them down here if you are going anywhere to foreign climbs for a ride. Plus, you can change the width of your bars up to 40 mil and change the height by 15 mil without the need cutting the steerer. There's also now a CFR version of the Enduro Race, which uses what Canyon call their highest grade carbon. And that's tech which is employed in their top spec air road and ultimate models. Claimed weight of the CFR spec with SRAM Red Axis, actually the bike I'm riding now in a size medium is 7.3 kilos. So still perfect for attacking those uphills. The Enduro Ace comes in eight different sizes, from a triple XS to a double XL. And those two smaller sizes are designed around 650B wheels too. For those of you wondering, I'm riding the biggest size possible, the double XL, the two XL, which is actually one of the biggest road bikes out there that you can buy for any of your fellow giants out there looking for a little tip. And that's thanks to Canyon's founder being a fellow giant, although he's not quite as tall as me. I think we'd better make that one clear from the get-go. Another new feature to the Enduro Race is integrated storage here on the top tube, and that's got space for Canyon's 3-in-1 tool, Dyna plug, tyre levers, and CO2 canister, which I think is kind of another nod to the fact that this is a bike designed for longer rides, adventure, potentially rides, um, and whilst a race bike is great, a bike that can do it all can go out there, find the road less travelled, go on those slightly quieter, less busy routes is is the one for me. When I'm back home in Ireland, I do tend to opt for such routes. Normally on my gravel bike, because the roads are so rough. This is another reason why I'd opt for Endurance as my bike of choice. You can fit in a whopping 35 mil wide tire on this bike, which gives you plenty of freedom to up your route choice, go for some slightly wild, wilder options, and pair those wider tires with Canyon's VCLS 2.0 seat post. And any vibrations, rough surfaces, less than ideal tarmac, gonna feel buttery smooth. 
Canyon say the seat post provides flex via the two-bladed carbon design without the need for a more clunky mechanical option. And this is the seat post that you see on their gravel bikes, the Grizzle and the Grail, bikes that are designed for terrain, which is a heck of a lot rougher. The bike is spec with 32 mil on the back, 30 on the front. Canyon say this is because a rider's weight is mostly distributed through the back wheel and having that difference slightly narrow on the front allows for the perfect balance between aerodynamics and compliance. You can also spec the bike to 35 mil if you want. So there's a heck of a lot of room for manoeuvre. Wider tyres, they can run at lower pressure, roll better, and also I think the main advantage of wider tyres is that you could ride what's behind me now if you wanted to. So it gives you a good bit to wiggle with on your riding terrain. I'm not saying that everyone should jump aboard a more endurance orientated road bike. For some, there is no substitute for that aggressive all out speed that a more race orientated aero bike does provide. And I totally understand that. And a bike like the Aero does have plenty of tech and features built into it that increases its comfort. So I actually went as far as saying that it was an aero bike in his take on that particular model. And if you want to watch his take, that's in a video up on the GCN channel. What I am saying though, is that there is value in choosing a bike which is right for you. If like me, you like a bit more of the relaxed style of riding, maybe taking the road less traveled, the odd deviation from time to time, or maybe the odd epic, massive day in the saddle and still feel pretty comfortable by the end of it all, then you're probably gonna lean towards something like this. Having a bike like this with that more relaxed geometry will mean you'll get a whole load more out of your riding. You'll feel more comfortable, it's gonna feel easier, and as a result, I think you'll actually go a heck of a lot faster too. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you someone that chooses that all out aero machine, maybe your lightweight climbing, your honed lightweight climbing bike, or maybe something a bit more like this that I've been riding today. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.